60% on the season, the freshman from nearby McDonough School. And Tyler Dunn gets the start for Johns Hopkins as Hayashi, 20 and blue, wins it with ease. Navy, we were told that there'll be a little switch. Dylan Bauer may start an attack and Russell Melendez will play out of the midfield and that's in, in fact what we see. Jacob Angelus inside Degnan and there it is. Garrett Degnan has just set a Johns Hopkins school record. He has scored in his 38th consecutive game. What a remarkable accomplishment. Tied with the great Terry Reardon and Ryan Brown with 37 goals. He owns it now at 38. Angeles, he is the assist man and gets it to Dagnon, takes that on the run and shoots. Possessions than the orange. So their offensive efficiency in this motion offense, it's a, a positionless scheme, has been quite good. Chauvet stings the corner on the rollback. The freshman's 10th goal of the season. He had hat tricks against Towson and he had a hat trick against Denver. 10th goal of the season. Start the season so strong with back to back hat tricks in the first two games. You just give him space and the ability, he can just stand his feet and rip it. Love the placement of that shot. And Hopkins off to a very strong start. Two goals in 46 seconds. He too from Lawrenceville. Matt Collison left-handed. Nice stop by Dan Daly, Navy sophomore goalie. Long outlet over the head of Jackson Bonnets, but Arlene's got it. Navy with the extra man break, and they capitalize. So the overthrow to Bonnets, and somehow number eight in blue kept this ball alive for his teammates. Povivian with his third goal of the season. Great quick strike. That clear did not look like it was going in the, the right direction. Or move. Watch this save. Daly with the clear right up the middle. And did not look like the bounce was going their way. Excellent job. Arline, his head's up. Look how quickly he moves. Got to honor him running down the center of the field. Excellent pass. Navy goalie Dan Daly, lower left side of your screen, 52%. Sophomore, the lefty from Wayne, New Jersey. Chauvet to X. Bauer. Angelus, a lot of circular passing from Hopkins. You'll see ball movement, you'll see people movement. Lefty wing shot. Catches daily napping, and Chauvet, who is not shy, scores his second of this contest. The Hopkins offense is a thing of beauty when working. Just people moving, the passes are crisp, the ball doesn't get stuck in anyone's stick. And Chauvet, the freshman, gets his second goal of the day, comes around the left-hand side, love the bouncer. He could be a threat up top with the outside shooting. This one, he takes it on the run, little sidearm. Great. Bauer, shot clock at 15 for the Jays. Ball on the carpet, nice defense by Navy and their bench comes to life. Those stops are big, let's see if they can clear it and get something good going with their offense. Swanson out of the substitution box and Daly's pass is off the mark. So clearing pass is an issue, Hopkins Transition, Pesco stopped, here's Bauer, rebound, scores! Blue Jays convert on the Navy giveaway. Dylan Bauer, seventh goal this season. Career high in points coming off that Syracuse game. Watch the feet up top, great save, but it bounces out. A great honor and 
Coach Amplo telling us it's the greatest individual honor that a Navy lacrosse player can have to wear that number 40, and it's awesome to see Degnan sporting that at Hopkins. It was 20 years ago, Navy made a trip to the NCAA championship game. Hopkins working the set play off the stoppage. A backdoor cut, goal is waved off. That would have been a hat trick for Hunter Shaw then. And now whistles off. An official's challenge, I was told. The officials are looking at it. This is not a coach's challenge, according to Russ DeLynn. In one of those views, it looked like his foot was on the crease, but uh, he land, no. Does he land in he, the goal mouth right there with his hands? Now he's, he's pushed. Was yeah. the push consequential? I, right there yeah. is key creativity from offensive players. They want to make the dive legal, but they also want to protect the goal. Yes. So the goal of the goal mouth is to try to achieve those two things. And it's, it's, it's a delicate balance. I mean, every, it seems like every game we have controversial goal mouth calls. I think it, it definitely is the case. Daly, but Lehigh. Let's see if Navy can get something going. It's good perimeter defense by Hopkins and a loose ball scooped up by Chase Erlin. Hopkins struggling to clear. Hunter Jaronski now on a four on three, right down Charles Street and buries it. It looked a little dicey for Hopkins on the clear. Jaronski was able to break free. Second goal this season. The double team, good pressure for Navy. But Jaronski's able to come up with it. He's wide open. No one gets on him. Navy's defense slow plays this. They say Army and then everybody else. And quite honestly, when you think about who's the second best team in the Patriot League, it could be anybody else. Could be Loyola, could be Colgate, could be Navy, could be BU, could be Lehigh. Lafayette, much improved. And that's Degnan, that's for sure. He has got an absolute cannon. Garrett Degnan has got two. Had the first goal of the day for Hopkins. Now owns that 38 goal scoring streak. But look at that stat, three plus goals in all the two games this season. Six year player, all the defenses know about him. You have to contest him, you gotta get at his, on his hands. Don't let him get the center of the field. Now he's such a, a strong body, he's able to shoot. Has been a rock for this Johns Hopkins program. Think about where they were and where they are now. And his leadership has gone a long way. Navy strikes right back. Off the face-off win. They get it cooking. Evan Conway with his first goal this season. You can hear the Naval Academy team on the sideline. Congratulations on your first goal. Winning 29 games at Navy now in his fifth year. This is such a great rivalry between these two schools. Right. Has a goal. They've got not much going in the settled sets. I know they wanted to invert. See if Hopkins would play their invert zone. And so this is what they're looking for. They got a good matchup here with Xavier Arline. Hopkins in their condensed invert zone behind it. Swanson's got a look, righty. Blocked by the defense. Man, Scott Smith took that one. You talk about courage. Swanson swings it to Hewitt. Dodges off a ball movement, nicely covered by Zulik. Swanson in space. 
Lefty Rap finds the net. Gorgeous offensive possession for Navy. Navy worked hard for that goal. Dane Swanson wanted the ball in his stick. It's his ninth goal this season. Dave Cottle, offensive coordinator for Navy, has worked with Swanson on his shot, on his release, once in shooting overhand. Beautiful. Maryland with Weirman, and he sat out the Brown game. Feed inside to Jimmy Ayers, just kicked around, and now Daly didn't lose his, his goal. And uh, came to Hopkins as a freshman and radically changed his body from freshman to sophomore year. Effective pick set behind, and Daly digs that one out. Nice stop by the lefty. Hopkins pick, the Navy pilot. Extra man, Will Schiffenhaus, the lefty 27 on the far side. He and Tolker like to rip it. Here's Tolker underneath and buries it. Highway to the danger zone. Navy's on the board with the extra man. This makes it a two goal game. Tolker gets his 12th goal this season. Really come on strong last two games. This is excellent passing. Beautiful job getting Toker right on the crease. He had to reach for that a little bit, does it? More scenic, though, I tell you that much. Always loved that drive. It's kind of the harbinger of spring. You see the blossoms coming out, some of the farmland turning green. Even on 97 is pretty. There's a lot of trees and 97. Good 97 is a super highway. <laughs> Grimes wants his left hand. There's 66. Jack Norton, that guy flashes on tape, man. He's a stud. And Navy's got numbers. He's got a glides. They're such a great passing team. This cup of Hopkins defense, though, has been very strong, confrontational. Tip of the spear. Swanson. Liquid smoke. Off the timeout. Haley with the assist. Game on. Dane Swanson is a threat. Third straight multi-goal game for him. Why the double team here? Why does Martin go? That player is not a threat to score a goal. Yeah, the slide rotation is not there to, hand, to handle Swanson. Replacement bus. Well, that replacement bus started smoking and then... <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, and then uh, became a, a, a fire issue on 97 as Zach Hayashi now has tied the score up at six apiece. Navy sidelines on fire now. Tied up game. Hayashi has been dominant at the faceoff. First goal of the season. Hayashi, only a freshman from nearby McDonough School, a terrific three-sport athlete. Little wrestling. He's got power at 580, goes a buck 90. Seven seconds into this third quarter, you get a juice going moving the ball. Hewitt gets himself into a little jam and then tosses the ball to Xavier Arline. Lefty dish shot. Erlin's there. Now we got a free-for-all around the crease. Great ground ball by Havivian. Navy has transformed themselves here in front of our eyes from the first to second quarters. Facing off with Lehigh this weekend, Loyola plays BU in a big game. Collison to Degnan. Peshko against the short, he flips it to Collison and he finds net. A little slip pick action. And the scoreless streak is snapped. That assist was a thing of beauty. Love the flip pass. Collison gets his 12th goal this season and breaks the scoring drought for Hopkins. Watch Peshko. Flips it behind him, a little behind the back. That's excellent. Organized, pinpoint passing. 
Kyle, Collison's moving towards Pesco. So his defender takes that outside shoulder leverage and Hopkins will chill out a bit. So Navy's defense is gonna be tested here cardio wise. It's a long possession. Ayers, right-handed rip. Nice closeout by Jackson Bonnets. Marsh cross field to Lacalzi. Well done by Navy's defense. See if they can clear it. And they can. Jackson Peters. Two-way player, Arline! How about that, Navy? You play good D, it's a clean clear. And Arline from distance from Peters. Xavier Arline leads the team in total points, picks his spots on when he wants to press today, gets the score from defense to offense. Another tie, it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Mac Haley, whose brother TJ plays for Georgetown. Swanson to Hewitt. Got good feet, no foul called. You can hear it from up here. Haley left-handed, pump and rip. Nice stop by Erlin, deflects that wide. Tolker comes up with a rebound and Navy gets a fresh 60. Swanson, in, it trickles in. Chase Erlin got a good chunk of that and the ball just squirrels itself over the goal line. And Navy takes the lead over Johns Hopkins. First lead of the day, and Dane Swanson, who was cold shooting in the beginning of this season, has come on strong the last three games. This one just trickles in. The ball needs to go completely over the goal line. Probably the best offensive set for Navy was this possession. Lots of opportunities. Quick double, skip pass, near side Conway. Yard sale. Yard sale in Homeland, Saturday mornings. Smith, he's got numbers for Smith. Take a look at this again. Not only comes up with the check Scott Smith does, but also gets a great ground ball. That, that's a big time yard sale. They got some nice yard sales up here at Homeland. Six on five break, Jackson Peters. He's got Marsh trailing the play. Lefty wing shot, Tolker, money. Hopkins not getting back into the hole off their turnovers in the transition game. Great score for number 10, Henry Tolker, the junior. Coming off a four goal game at Lehigh. And just look at this, that pushing transition, not much of an angle, look at where he shoots that. Hopkins transition defense, out of sorts there. You had Bonnets and Peters, 63, 28 and one. Hayashi, such a scrapper. Ground ball. But he tosses that a little too aggressively to Norton. Hopkins bench wants a foul there for interference. Harry Reardon and Ryan Brown. He's got a shorty now. Let's see if he can dodge. Nice little stutter move. Lefty rip. Daly is there. Dan Daly's been solid. His pass. Nailing some mid range shots. Haley inside. Erwin got a piece controls his rebound. And let's see if Hopkins can find something in transition. It's a six on five for Brett Martin. Trailer, kill rain. Good recovery by Nasus, because this is a passing team. With that in mind, somebody on Hopkins has to go to the rack and win a matchup. Here's Angelus. The He's the guy. He's a leading assister, really distributes the ball so well. He draws a double sheen, and Degnan is robbed by defenders. Again, I said the Patriot League, you throw out Army, it's wide open. Cut and stopped by Daly, his best of the day. Point, point blank range, robs Hunter Chauvet, eight stops, Dan Daly. Swanson, big righty shooter. Skip pass, knocked down. Diving play by Scott Smith and a good grounder. Here come the Jays, they've got a five on four. He draws the pole.
Allison, who had that big day against Virginia. He and Norton have squared off all day long. Degnan left-handed off the post and in. Mr. Reliable, Garrett Degnan. Degnan gets his 24th goal this season. Love his patience here. There's a little bit of a stutter step, gets the ball, increases his angle. Gets it wide open, finally slips one by Daly. On Sunday. Pesco. Iso. Into dangerous water. Step down and a whistle. Moving pick. You wondered how Bauer was so open. Holds his ground. Bauer against Marsh. Shot clock at 30. Angelus. He's quick. Got to be careful with Angelus on the perimeter. So slippery. His head's always up looking to pass, but he can score. Throwback Pesco. Righty rip. Tied up at nine. Drawn up. Pesco, seventh goal this season. You saw that March second game against Virginia. He had four goals and one assist. Angeles creates this. He's, you, he's a threat. He's their leading passer, but however, he can go to Cage and score. Shifts the deep for one more push. Long pass to Jaronski. They're going to have a shot here. Oh, and it goes over Angeles' head. Are you kidding me? Super balanced and quick on their feet. Navy's plus two in this face-off department, but this is the only one that matters. Hayashi wins the draw. Navy's going to have transition here. Marsh is a threat to his right. Our line wide for Dane Swanson to play a strong game. Mac Haley roll back. Hewitt got leverage. Does it count? Does it count? going to look this one over. They should. They're going to go to replay. This is why we have replay. Their call was goal is good. You can feel the nerves on the Hopkins sideline right now. Officials reviewing this. Let's take a look. I don't see any crease violation. He does not land in the goal yeah, mouth. The question, Sheen, is when does the ball go in the net? Because we don't really see the net ripple. Okay, that toe is not in. There's nothing to confirm that. The ball is now in the net, and I think he lands. I think this goal will be confirmed as a good goal. What a play. Looks like a goal from our angle that we're seeing. Max Hewitt, the senior, gets to the inside. Nothing there, right? Do you see anything that says he landed in the crease before that goal? No. Goal He's definitely not in the goal mouth. I think it's a good goal. I think it's a good goal. Don't see that toe. There's nothing to confirm that toe. The right knee, does the right knee bump before the ball go in across the goal line? Again, watch the right knee, right? down. I think it's a goal. It's a goal. Navy has done it. Navy has done it. The celebration got a little delayed with that review. 44 seconds, four seconds into overtime. Hewitt, who scored four goals and the game winner when they beat Johns Hopkins in 2022 gets the game winner in overtime. Send a fourth bus up to Baltimore. Navy's going back to Annapolis with a W.
it, you know, I think he just liked the fact that, that he had a lot of space to work with here, Sheehan. Hopkins didn't show that they were in the mood to double him. And I think he sensed that. He was well covered. Right here, he's well covered, but he says, you know what? There's not a double presenting itself. I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Well, it was a little deceptive. It almost looked like he was gonna go behind the cage, take it around to reset up. Instead, he saw that little bit of room to get to the center of the field. That's a big W. Huge.